Hello, I'm Michael Cook, editor of thestar.com. With me today is Robin Doolittle, a star reporter and the author of Crazy Town, the Rob Ford story. So, first question, Robin. What's in this book that we haven't read before? Uh, I mean, there are lots of new things ab about uh, Ford and Ford's family, but the thing that I really tried to answer was, one, what makes Rob Ford Rob Ford, and two, how is it that a city that many people think would be this liberal, hippy, dippy, culture, artsy folks, uh, that elect a guy like Rob Ford. So a lot of it is kind of his journey and, and how he got to be the guy that he is today, and also examining how the divisions in the city um, catapulted this really right-wing populist guy who seems better suited to American politics running one of the largest governments in Canada. And so what is it that you think that, that made him this guy who's now smoking crack? Is there a couple of things you could point to? His, older, his two older siblings, Kathy and Randy, both struggled with d drugs, specifically heroin, went around the time that Rob was at a very formative age. And I, I really do think that his, his uh, looking at his older siblings sort of contributed to that. But in general, just where he was growing up and the people he was hanging out with, this, his, his drug stuff did start early on. You know, I know that the, the, the city's almost divided, the, the big GTA is almost divided into two on Rob Ford, and we see that every day in our letters to the editor and our emails. But it, I have to say, if there's one redeeming quality, I'm going to ask you, one redeeming quality for Rob Ford, something that perhaps we didn't know before, what would it be? Uh, people know this about him. It's the thing that he constantly harps on over and over again. But he really does phone you back, and he uh, he really does go into social housing and, and meet with people, and he really does connect with people. And I think a lot of uh, regular folk, to use Ford language, feel that's really empowering to feel that they have an ally in the mayor's office. And that is by far uh, the most redeeming quality about him. It's what gave him uh, a name on a, a municipal level and has propelled him to the mayor's office. A very important book, Robin, very serious, a lot of work, and very important to the contemporary history of this city, Toronto. Brava, well done.